Hey there. <laughs> Daddy's back. Daddy is back home and he's better than ever. Guess what guys, it's been a long time, but hey, I actually have something important to say. Our brand new serum pack, well it's not just serum, it's like drums, bass samples, everything you need to make tear out music like Macedon and stuff. Roll the demo. So that's a quick clip of the demo. That pack is dropping very, very soon, and we're closing down the early access list very soon because it's dropping. Why are we gonna leave open early access? So that being said, if you guys want to hop on the early access list, go ahead and click the link in the description down below to sign up before we close it forever. Anyway, guys, today we're gonna be making this mega horn sound. It's kind of like Mastodon Trampa. It's in the same style as this pack. So I might as well show you guys exactly how you can make mega horns in Serum because there's an actual process that you can replicate. This is what it sounds like. Yo guys, so let's just jump right into the video. So first things first, we're going to be using a four oscillator setup. That means we're just gonna be using all the oscillators in Serum. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on the sub, turn on the noise. Um, actually, before we even turn on the sub, let's just start to work with our main sound here. We're gonna be turning on oscillator A and oscillator B. So all the sound's gonna be outputted through oscillator A. So we could go ahead and turn down level of oscillator B. Let's just go ahead and turn on FM from B. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna stick our LFO on here. Of course, we're using frequency modulation, but this is really just to create a nice tonal base for the sound, you know what I mean? And guys, keep in mind, there's a ton of other sounds like this in this pack that are coming soon, um, but this is a highly repeatable process that you could use in all of your sounds moving forward. Like, there's an actual system here. But if you wanna sign up for early access for like a ton of other bases and stuff, just go ahead and click the link in the description below. Anyway, so we're gonna put this around 63, all right? And we can just uh, create a quick little shape like this, put this on envelope. So it's got a little bit of movement, it drags up, it's like you know what I mean? Okay, and it drags up to those tonal frequencies. So we'll turn on the noise to, uh, we'll go to analog, alpha noise. This is more full, more rich. Bit more than that so put this on direct out because we don't want the noise to be distorted now we can go ahead and turn on our sub now the sub is going to be we'll put it on a square waveform i love layering in squares with the sub because here it just kind of rides in the background and the combination between a square and the sawtooth waveforms when they're around the uh the same pitch they actually start to create like a nice thickened sound and you know thick is always what we're going for Anyway, turn on to the effects. Turn on to the effects. I don't know what I meant by that, but go into the effects tab and select our hyper and dimension. You guys are probably like, but but Shane, what are you doing? Put in hyper number one. Ah, you listen to me. Put up the rate to around 41%. There's a reason for doing this, guys. Like I said, there's a system here. Turn up the detuning. Turn up that mix. Maybe just jam in a few more voices. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I'm sick, by the way. Ugh. Anyway, there's a reason for doing that. So basically, we're going to add in a little bit more movement, a little bit more thickness that we could go ahead and distort now, and then just freaking turn on distortion. Can you guys hear that? You know, it's really starting to put together the aspects of a mega horn like we hear in all these songs but it's nowhere near close to done actually it's very close but um we just literally turn on reverb and then put on compressor and multiband we turn up the gain though and then of course we could add in a little bit more tone to the sound um so I'll we just go down zero zero zero. All right, guys. So the reason why we're doing this have such a weird setup is basically first things first. The hyper is going to be making it like a little bit more crazy, a little bit thicker, put in a bunch of um, thickness in the sound, and then distortion is going to be distorting that thickness that we just added in to make it sound like a huge horn, like like a huge orchestra. And then the reverb is in here um, because you know we want it to sound intense but the compressor is then compressing the reverb, the multiband, it's like trying to compensate for that. You know, it's like, okay, reverb goes, well, 
like the 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 pitch i mean fucking hell the volume drops over time like a tail right and the multiband's like oh my gosh the volume's dropping so it goes you know what i mean it creates that really intense cinematic trailer but uh yeah guys this is a highly repeatable system like this is a really basic sound but you could do it with so many different wave tables so many different things and guys sick it's sick like it's so easy to make these awesome mega horns um so that's a big part of tear out and heavy dubstep if you want the rest of the tools like you know all the drums all the, the snares kicks the nasty basses the growls everything you need is in this upcoming pack tear out toolkit go ahead and click the link in the description down below to sign up for early access like i said we are in fact closing the list down very shortly so without further ado guys this is Shane from This is Shane from Rocket Pirate Sound. I almost said something else. Different project I'm starting. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.